In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a photo using some very commonly used tools in Darktable. For this video, I'm going to edit this photo, but I'm not going to go through a lot of really complex steps. I'm not going to use a ton of different modules. I just want to keep things really simple and just kind of show you what a basic edit might look like. Uh, not using parametric masks, nothing complex like that, just really simple stuff. So just right away, looking at this photo, if you look at the sky there, you can see that it's overexposed in areas. We're losing detail. And if I turned on my exposure warnings, uh, you can see that represented with the red there. And if you over also look in the top right here at the histogram, you can see the white part of the histogram, uh, where the bright parts of the image are, it's going too far to the right. We want to bring that in. So I'm going to go to the basic group. I'm going to go down to the exposure module, and I'm just going to bring down the exposure. Um, I'll bring it down right up until those all disappear. Maybe we'll go to right about here. So now you can see we've brought back that detail in the clouds and the histogram up here in the top right. It's coming where it's just touching the edge. You can even bring it down a little lower if you wanted to. Uh, the left here, which is where we're going to see the darker parts, the blacks, I also want that to kind of touch the edge just a bit. So I'm going to go to the blacks and I'm going to increase that just a little bit, maybe to about here. So I'll just turn off my exposure warnings and we can look at here's before, here's after. So you have this problem here where, okay, great, we've brought some detail back in those clouds. They're not just blown out in white, uh, but the rest of the image doesn't look good, right? The rest of the image is too dark. So I'm going to fix that by going over to the tone group. I'm going to turn on levels, and I'm just going to increase the mid-tones here. That's the middle slider. And I'm just using my mouse wheel to do it. You could also click and drag if you prefer to do it that way. Now I'm going to go up a little bit, uh, just to the tone curve. And I'm going to bring down uh, the darker areas a little bit. I'm just going to click and drag to make a little, a little node there. And I can adjust that further with my mouse wheel. And then I'm going to bring it uh, brighter in the area where the grain elevator is. And I can do that by clicking on this little eyedropper here. And it's going to give me a reference point. So I'm going to click on the grain elevator. That's going to give me this little line here. So I know that's where I can click and drag my node. So I'm going to click and drag up to increase the exposure. And then I'm just using my mouse wheel to kind of bring it up more and more and more until a point uh, where I like it. So I'll close that up there. Um, so that's great. I've uh, increased the midtones. It's looking brighter now. Things are looking a lot better. Um, and I can make a few more tweaks to it. I'm going to come over to the basic group again. And just at the top here, we have contrast, brightness, and saturation. And I'm going to increase the contrast. I'll just go up a little bit. Uh, keep in mind, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, it's definitely uh, a common thing in Darktable. You always have a lot of different modules to work with. Uh, but right now, I just want to stick to the basic group and the tone group, and that's about it. Uh, while I'm here, I could increase the saturation a bit, too. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. And, I mean, this is really up to you. Whatever your personal preference is, we could bring it up higher, I guess, to, to make it a little more exaggerated. Uh, there's a lot of nice colors in this image. Uh, so I'll just take a look. Um, here's the before. This is when I opened up the image. Here's the after. It's not drastic changes. Um, we've you know fixed the clouds. We've got the um, the midtones and everything else up. Uh, what you might want to do, uh, one more module to look at, is just shadows and highlights. Now, if I turn it on by default, I think it's going to be a bit too much. So I'll turn it on, and that, that's very strong. I really don't want it quite that strong. So the shadows here, which is at 50, I'm going to change that to 25. Maybe you could go a bit higher. Maybe a 30 would be better. In the highlights that are at minus 50, I'll bring those down to maybe a, a minus 30 or something like that. Uh, so we can go, uh, here's before, here's after with that module. That helps out quite a bit. So that could be it. You know, you don't have to spend an hour every time you edit an image in Darktable. And I know it's tempting because there are so many modules. But I just really want to go through some really basic, simple edits where you just start off with this and uh, end up with this in just a few quick steps. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you'd like to learn more, please consider purchasing the open source photography course available at rileybrandt.com lessons. More information about the course and links to all my social media sites can be found in the description below.